Hi guys. So this is part two of day two. Um, yesterday we talked about the, the being the young living bus and just being the bus driver and opening the door and letting people on and off. Um, today I just want to talk to you really quickly. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything in the notes, what I put in the main part of the post. Just go back and read that. What I do want to touch on, I'm trying to keep the videos really short for you guys. And so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. But um, I want to just talk to you about the friend filter. <clears throat> so um, this is coming from Marie for Leo. And she talked about being um, using the friend filter to check how we are presenting ourselves or on, whether in person or on social media or however. Um, and so she wants to know, she asked, well, like, what, how do I talk? Um, what do I act like? What do I talk like when I'm with my closest friends? Um, if I'm not acting and talking and sharing on social media or, um, in a presentation or whatever, the same way that I am with my really close friends, then I'm not being my authentic self. And people don't want that. They can see right through that. They want to know uh, who Denise is or who Erica is or who Wendy is. They want to know who those people are. They want that true, authentic you. Um, so when we, um, when we are that authentic person, then we communicate from that authenticity and we realize that we, um, I am great as I am not for everyone. And that is okay. So that, that releases us to be our authentic self. So if I'm not constantly being who I am at home with my best friends at church on social media, people are going to see that difference between that. And that's why one of the reasons why I really try, I want my example. I want my life to show that who I am at home with my husband is the same person that I am. Um, maybe not this quite exactly the same because you're going to have those intimacies with certain people that you don't. But if I can't be that same person that I am at home, that I am at church, that I am on social media, that I'm faking it and that's not okay. We need to be our authentic self. And so, um, I am a great exactly as, as I am. You are great exactly as you are. And even with that greatness, you're not going to be for everybody and that's okay. I want you to hear that. That is okay. This is something that I've really had struggled to learn is that, you know, when I, somebody tells me no, or when they unfriend me or, um, they don't agree with what I'm saying. That's okay. That's them. And not everybody is going to be on board with what I think and feel and, and want to live. That's not up for me to decide that for them. Just like, you know, when I talked to, I think it was where I talked about my mother-in-law used to tell me, that everybody is entitled to their own opinion. It doesn't mean that it's right or wrong. It just means it's their opinion and everybody's entitled to it. And their opinion is not my business. And so if we can just realize that we are great exactly the way God made us and we are great doing exactly what we were doing with the tools that we have right now, that frees us up to not worry about what other people um, think because we shouldn't care what anybody else thinks but what we think and what the Lord thinks. Um, that's a little off subject of what she was sharing, but, um, the other thing that she talked about is if you are talking to everyone, then you are talking to no one. And so that's me. A lot of times when I put a post up, I'm very, I put a post up thinking I'm going to reach everybody with that. And that's just not realistic. Um, so we really need to be very focused on who we are trying to reach. For me, it may look very different than it does for you. Um, if you are a mom with littles and you want to reach those moms with littles, that's going to be your group of people that you want to reach out to. For me, it's recovery and um, living your best life and the Lord. Those are those key things that I want to focus on and I need to be a whole lot better about it than I am. I still put find myself putting posts up and just flippantly thinking that it's going to reach the world. Um, it's not, we got to be very, very targeted and intentional with who we are trying to reach. And those are the people we want to help. So that's a good thing. All right. Tomorrow we will be talking about day three and I don't remember what it is, but we're going to talk about day three. It's always, there was multiple, um, multiple people speaking. So there was always something a little bit different. So you're going to catch something from each person. This one today just was 
I broke down day two because it was such a long one and I didn't want to lose you guys. So, um, today's is all about Maria, Marie, excuse me. Her name was Marie. And, um, just being coming from an authentic place and just being you. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. See you tomorrow.